Let me show you a WordPress plugin that can practically automate all your actions from WooCommerce using Flowmatic. So let's go check it out right now. What's up everyone? So the WordPress plugin that I want to show you is Flowmatic. It can automate just like you would with Zapier, but inside of WordPress. One of the big benefits is that this is based on per website and not on the task count like you would with Zapier. So let me show you the pricing table right here. It starts off at $99 and you get access to two websites for this price. And like I said, unlimited task execution. So it's a big benefit. If you're using Zapier, you'll have to pay, for example, for the amount of tasks used and the type of apps that you use. Some are premium and you have to pay more for a plan that can, that can include those premium apps. So this is a way better option. So this is Flowmatic. I already have it installed here. Before I show you how to use it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They provide affordable shared hosting plans that you can start using right away and create your WooCommerce stores. So let's go into hosting, go to web hosting, and I'm going to show you an extra discount coupon code that you can apply to your plans. So you can start from $2.99 from $9.99, depending on the features that you want. For example, you get dedicated IP address with the $9.99 plan. Let's go ahead and add this one to cart, and I'm gonna show you how to apply the coupon code. Now, first off, it's going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 48 months. Now, the price right now is $479.52, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $131.57. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code. Now, let's go into Flowmatic. Like I said, this is going to automate your WooCommerce actions. So if a new client is created, we can send out an email automatically. We can create a new user. We can change the status of a user and do a whole lot with it. So first off, you want to go into integrations. And this is where you're going to activate the integrations that you want to use. You can see if I hover some of these, they are not installed because maybe I don't need them and it's not going to install unnecessary files. So let's go ahead and search for WooCommerce. And in my case, I already have it installed. But if you haven't, go ahead and install it, all right? And once that's installed, go to Workflows. And in Workflows, this is where the magic is going to start. So let's go ahead and start with a new workflow. And there's two things that are really important, the trigger and the action. The trigger is what needs to happen in order to automate and start the action. So in this case, the trigger is going to be WooCommerce, but it could be the other way around. So let me give you a hypothetical use case. Let's just say that you have a form somewhere else, someone fills it out, and you can automate it with webhook or direct integration and create a WooCommerce user with that. But in this case, this is going to be the first action. So let's go into WooCommerce and we're going to choose an event. So you can see, we can automate based on these triggers. So it can be a new product created, product update, product deleted, restore product, or et cetera, a whole bunch of these. Go ahead and check these out. We're going to choose new order created and then the products, it's going to work for all of them. But if not, use the product IDs that should be available in your product section over here. We're going to fetch from database in this case. You can recapture response if you want to grab a response from a new order. But in this case, we're going to have data that's available already for our automation. Now, what do we want to do with this? OK, so we want to do an action. Do you want to send out an email? Do you want to create a user? Do you want to do what do you want to do with this new order? OK. So first of all, you can use API if you want to do something really advanced. You got filters, delays. For example, let's use a delay for this. And the action is a delay four. And we're going to say uh, 10 minutes in this case. Let's go ahead and save and test the action. There we go. And then we're going to go into the next action. So when a new order is created, we're going to delay it. And then we're going to send out an email. Okay. And then we have the email that we can use from WordPress or the SMTP settings. So in this case, I can use WP default or I can add my custom SMTP settings. We'll use the WP default. And now we have to add the data like who is the name from this email that's going to be sent out. So when someone receives this, it knows what name from email, reply to email to email. So who is this going to be sent out to? We're going to use WooCommerce. And in this case, it's going to be sent out to this billion email. So this variable is going to be different each time that someone orders with a new email. It's going to send that out to them and fill out the rest of the data, the email subject. So thank you for your order, or here's a new coupon code that you can use, et cetera, whatever you want to use. The email body, file attachment, if you want to add an attachment and send it out. That's how easy it is to automate these WooCommerce actions. So in this case, when a new order is created, it's going to delay for 10 minutes, and then it's going to send out an email with whatever details you want from 
that that uh, that data that you captured so you can create a whole bunch of automations with WooCommerce with this now these are the triggers that you can use for WooCommerce it's different from the ones that you can use for actions so if I use WooCommerce in an action check this out let me show you really quickly WooCommerce choose the action you here we go we can create a product we can create update a product create a new order apply coupon get a customer ID create a customer etc from this details that you're going to grab from the action so maybe the action is a form that someone filled out well you can create a user or well, customer in this case with WooCommerce using that automation now with Flowmatic you can do a whole lot of things like I said it could be really simple or super advanced and they even have an AI chatbot included in this but in this case that's how you're going to run your automations with WooCommerce using Flowmatic WordPress plugin I thank you all for watching. If you want to grab Flowmatic, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.